Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lady Candic, and today we're filming the second installment to my new series, Where Are They Now? X Factor UK Edition. During my last Where Are They Now? video, I asked you guys who you wanted me to dig into next and someone suggested Rachel Lester. So that's who we're talking about today. I'll start by saying that she does not have a happy ending and I wish I had better things to report for her, but unfortunately her life didn't go in the direction that um, she probably envisioned for herself. And a lot of people attribute that to her X Factor audition. She auditioned in 2007 of the X Factor UK series four around the age of 30. She had actually not planned to audition that day or any day for that matter. She was just walking around town as she often did to escape the home that she was living in. At the time, she was living in a pokey bedsit in Cardiff. A bedsit is just a room that you can rent amongst other rooms and then you share a bathroom with the people renting those other rooms. So there's like a communal bathroom. To me, it just sounds like a hotel, except you don't get your own bathroom. There's probably nice ones out there, but the one that she was living in was really crappy and she hated it. She said she would just mosey around town drinking coffee and smoking cigarettes to a escape. I understand that mentality because I once lived in a place that I hated and I would find any excuse to get out of there. Just get me out of this place. Like, I get it. She had just split from her long-term boxer boyfriend. Her mental state was already not great, but because of the circumstances, it was even worse. But there are reports that her walking the streets was for a completely different purpose. And there's some good evidence to back this up. It's still just my opinion, this is my opinion based on research and the evidence that I saw during my research, she wasn't just out there to escape the bedsit that she didn't like. She was out there to solicit clients, if you know what I mean. I'm trying to say it without saying it, but you get it. So she was out moseying around and she had to use the bathroom. So she got in line for the restroom and the line was unusually long. So she asked the lady in front of her, why are there so many people here? And that lady informs her that X Factor is holding auditions just around the corner. Rachel had been trying to make it as a singer for years before this. It was like her ultimate life goal and she she wasn't getting anywhere. So she thought, let, let me just take my chances on X Factor. So she goes over to the auditions, makes it through the pre-screening process and into the judges room. And we are provided with one of the most epic auditions to ever grace our televisions. Her audition became so famous because she was so angry for seemingly no reason. She did get ridiculed by the judges and Simon pretty heavily, but we've seen many other people go through that and they just accept their fate, give a little bit of tongue and walk out. But she didn't do that. She gave them a lot of tongue and walked out and her audition went down epically. When I say bad, I really don't mean her singing. When you compare her singing to Where I come from, there's a place called heaven to the singer of their original song. Where I come from, there's a place called heaven. It doesn't sound much different. It was her appearance, demeanor, and attitude that made this audition what it was. I remember watching her audition and wondering why she was so angry and why she dressed like that and why she didn't wash her hair before she went and why she didn't choose a better song to like express her vocal talents. Now that I know how she ended up in that room in the first place, it, it all makes sense. She didn't prepare. There was no preparation. She didn't even have time to change her clothes. She was in her street walking clothes, which is really ironic. She is so angry at Sharon Osbourne for calling her a street walker, but in reality, that's what she was doing out there that day. So maybe she was so upset by it because it was the truth. So she sings her audition song, which wasn't bad or good in my opinion. It just was. I think she chose the wrong song. She should have chosen a song that could really express her vocal abilities if she had any but um, she didn't have time to think about it. If I had to sing a song right now to show off my talents, I would probably sing like a old Whitney Houston or like a really cliche song, but why am I even saying that? Like, who cares? In typical Simon fashion, he started ridiculing her and tearing her down. And because of the mental state that she was already in, 
she went off. We all know what she said. Most of us could recite her audition from start to finish. And then she was escorted out. So what happened to her from there? As I was looking at all the Rachel Lester videos, I had to sift through a ton of TikToks of people reenacting her audition and mimicking what she said. And in the comments of those videos, I believe every single video had at least one comment that said, I can't believe she's deceased. I can't believe she unalived herself. And I'm like, she's not gone. So why do these people think that? I figured it out. I cracked the case. So they're confusing Rachel Lester with Ariel Burdett, who unfortunately did unalive herself. And um, that's a tragic story for a different video. I'm not going to get into it, but people are confusing the two. Both of their auditions did have a lot of similar aspects. They were both full of attitude and hostile and both auditions went viral and they don't look the same, but they don't look vastly different. So people are confusing those two. The path and the life that she was living before X Factor is the path and the life that she had continued on. And society seems to think that the way her life ended up is because of X Factor. They believe that the exposure that she got and the negativity that came with it pushed her into the life that she's in. They exploited so many untalented people for laughs and it was at their expense. So I'm not saying X Factor is innocent, but I'm saying in this case, I don't believe they're the cause of where she ended up. It's just my opinion. Were they wrong? Yeah. But were they the reason for her life choices? No. Actually, in Rachel's own accounts, she believes X Factor helped her. She said that it, it gave her more attention and the men wanted to come to her. It was giving her more clients and it made her more successful in her eyes. Some of her clients reported that she would reenact her audition during their love sessions and use a certain male body part as a pretend microphone. Following X Factor, she was working at a massage parlor in Cardiff called A1 Leisure under the pseudonym Jackie. And she was charging $60 for half an hour or $40 for 20 minutes, which they called a quickie. <laughs> An investigator for people was assigned to go undercover and be one of her clients, which could you imagine getting that kind of assignment? Like there's probably two reactions to that. One side would be like, oh my God, how could you put me in this position, workplace abuse? And the other side would probably be like, sign me up. Let me get that one. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know where the guy's headspace was. But anyway, he went undercover to be one of her clients. But he said that she spent most of her time like miming a song and doing the pretend microphone thing, which is what a lot of other people said. So she's just, just doing her regular act, I guess. One of her coworkers at that massage parlor said that Rachel would regularly rant about the judges. And she was particularly mad at Sharon Osbourne for calling her a streetwalker. It's kind of like calling a D addict a D addict. Like they don't want to hear it. She no longer works at that parlor and I'm not going to give away what she's doing, like where you can find her right now. But I will say that she did not veer off that path. She's still soliciting and struggling with her mental health. And in my opinion, appears to have issues with substance abuse as well, mainly alcohol, I think. So now that we know how Rachel ended up after her audition, let's go over some of the clips that were posted on uh, different platforms of Rachel in the wild. <laughs> this one is a clip of her confronting a man that seemingly shut the door in her face and she's confronting him, but she's not like hostile. Like we remember seeing her in the audition. She's kind of pleasantly talking to him. I don't know if it's because she's like drunk or zannied up or what, but she she definitely doesn't look sober. You shut the door in my face and you think I'm some sort of jerk? I got proof I'm from Panaf. That sounds a very nice area. It's hard to make out all the words, but I think she's saying, you walked away, you shut the door in my face. You think I'm some sort of jerk, but I've got proof I'm from a nice area. Something about her saying that she's from a nice area kind of makes me sad for her. Making a living in the way that she has for such a long time, I can imagine, would bring on a lot of insult and mistreatment from the public and from society. And deep down, she wants people to know that she's worthy. Okay, so here's another clip. <laughs> Shut up, cut it out, 
I'll take it and I'll give up. Watch me, baby, while you walk out the door. Shut up, please. I'll take it and I'll give up. Watch me, baby, while walk out the door. Shut up, take it and I'll take it and I'll give it. Watch me, baby, while I walk out the door. Welcome to Cardiff, X Factor in the host. <laughs> Could you imagine just hanging out somewhere and Rachel Lester just comes through the door like singing at you like that? Oh my God, I would die laughing. But it would make my day. It would be like the highlight of my day. What are you pointing at? What is that? <laughs> Here's a clip of Rachel being spotted at River Island in 1999 and I feel like this performance from her is probably what the men experienced that came to her as a client. <laughs> We have a guy that just encountered her walking all around the towns and everything. Is this the best singer in Cardiff ever? Are you doing singer? You right? No, I'm not too bad. No song for us today? I like your teeth. Any song for us? I'm a bit better when I'm drunk, to be <laughs> honest. I find it easier. Yeah? I don't have to be exceptionally drunk, because if I get exceptionally drunk, it sounds shit. But I at least need one or two, maybe three, to get me up there. Can you give us a welcome to Cardiff? Say welcome <clears> to Cardiff. Oh no, what to sing? I... Say welcome to Cardiff. Welcome to Cardiff. She instantly compliments him. I feel like deep down, Rachel's probably a very sweet and fun person. She's just hasn't lived a life that would allow that to be at the forefront. This last clip, I didn't mean for it to be the last clip. It, I was just going down through my recordings in order, but it's kind of perfect because it sums up how her life turned out pretty perfectly. Unfortunately, I don't say that with any joy. I really always hope that I have good things to report. And I guess just it, life doesn't work out that way sometimes. Unfortunately, this is how she ended up but she's still with us. It's not too late for her. I know the odds are low, but she can still pull herself out of this lifestyle and turn herself around. And I really, truly wish that for her. Um, if I ever see that happen, best believe I'll be coming on here to report that because that's the kind of news I want to give you guys. For now, that's where it sits. Thank you for coming on this journey with me. If you have anybody else you want me to dig into, please leave it in the comments. In my last video, someone also suggested Michael Lewis, and I have actually done all the research. I'm ready to report on him. I just don't have much time for filming lately. It takes, like, this might not look like it takes a lot of work, but I have to brush my hair and, like, I don't know, wash my face. <laughs> My next video will probably be a where are they now on Michael Lewis, although I really miss doing my old style like reaction type videos. So I'm going to try to squeeze one of those in there somewhere too. So if, if you're here for that, I will get back to it eventually. <laughs> the only issue with those is the copyright claims that are, are always attached to them. And like I like I get it, like they're copyright material in my video. So I understand the claim. It's just not a good look for someone who's trying to grow a channel. Until next time. Goodbye. After her, so now that we know how Rachel ended up in life after her, ugh. hello everybody. Oh wow, 
Hello everybody, I'm- This is awful. I can't get it together. Let's just start over. This is so bad. 